Hey y'all, my name is Kayla and welcome to my YouTube channel. What? Um, so yeah, this is my first video. Um, I want my YouTube channel to be based around all things makeup and beauty. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a makeup enthusiast. I love makeup and I love playing with makeup. Um, I really like more like high-end luxury type makeup, although there's a few little drugstore gems out there. But mainly I like to focus on luxury and high-end makeup. Um, I am 31 years old. Um, I have mm, acne prone, kind of normal combo skin, um, and I live in an extremely hot and humid area. So that's a little bit about me. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about my Holy Grail products just to kind of give you an idea of what I like and what to expect on my channel. So keep watching. Okay, so I always start out with priming my eyes with this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. Um, this is my second tube of this stuff and it works wonders. It's not like a sticky or tacky kind of base. It's kind of like a velvety base, but it really makes my shadows pop and last for a really long time. So first, always prime. And then I typically let it sit for like 30 seconds or so and then go in and set it with a little bit of powder. Easy peasy. And then for eyeshadow, this is a really, really tough one, y'all. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and yeah, I could have picked a lot of them, but I really, really love this Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace in collaboration with the beautiful, lovely Mel Thompson. Um, <clears throat> it's just beautiful. You can use it to create so many different looks, like an everyday look, you can create like a dark smoky look. You can create a pop of color for spring. And all the shadows are so blendable and so creamy. It's just beautiful. So today I'm gonna just create like a really simple look, a look that makes me feel really beautiful. Um, it can be used for every day. You can amp it up for night. I just love it. It's so good. So first I'm going in with this tree hopper shade in my crease to create a transition with the Refer number 27 brush. Just a big fluffy kind of brush. Always gonna blow off the excess. So I'm just gonna go in in the crease. Oh, so beautiful. So next I'm gonna go in with this shade Walk and Stick with a Wayne Goss number 17 brush. It's a little dirty. But I'm gonna go in just to deepen up the crease a little bit. Just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Death Moth in the outer corner, just to create a little bit depth, a little bit more depth. Can I talk? Um, with the <laughs> Sonia G Mini Booster. I love this brush for working in the outer crease. So I just tap a little bit on in the outer corner, outer corner, I think I said crease. Just tap, tap, tap. And then I take it and I kind of blend it like upwards and outwards. And then take it in just a tad, ever so lightly. Now I'm gonna take my finger and go in with this shade Marvel. Oh my God, so beautiful. Just get a little bit on my finger. And then just go in. Hopefully y'all can see that. Oh my God. It speaks for itself. So now I like to go in with just a little bit of liner. I have hooded eyes, so I don't like to do like a super thick liner. I mean, I used to, but we've learned. Um, but my favorite, oh, it's so good. My favorite liner is the Wayne Goss Cold Pencil in Precious Opal. This is the only one I have right now, but I will be getting more. So I just like to take it and just go in and just kind of smudge it on the upper lash line as to not take up too much space. So I smudge it in my upper lash line. 
really just kind of work it in there because otherwise we're gonna ruin that beautiful shadow. And then typically I'll go in with just any kind of little like pencil type brush and just kind of take it and just kind of press it in. I don't know if it really does anything, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something extra. <laughs> so next is foundation. I'm not too big of a primer girl. Um, I do like the Victoria Beckham and Augustinus Botter one. Um, but I typically just use my skincare. I use Shantikai skincare and it's fantastic. And it gives me a really beautiful canvas to put my base on. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, you should, it's at beauty by Kayla K all in lowercase, you know that I love this foundation and it is the Shantikai Future Skin Cushion Foundation. I wear it in the shade Aura. Aura, Aura, however you want to pronounce it, and it's stunning. Um, it creates the most beautiful, dewy, yet satin and skin-like finish. Um, I have it in the potted version as well, but I find this one is a little bit more skin-like and a little bit more, I don't want to say matte because I don't want you to think it's matte because it's not. It's just very skin-like and a little less dewy. It's fantastic. It can be built up to like a medium coverage or it can be sheared out to be really light. Um, it's just beautiful. I have nothing else to say other than it's beautiful and I love it and I will continue to repurchase it when I run out. And as you can see, I have a lot of redness in my skin. Um, I'm basically translucent. I wouldn't even say I'm pale, I'm translucent. Um, <laughs> so I have a lot of redness and um, acne scarring, but I feel like this just, it, it provides this just blurring quality that it doesn't even necessarily like cover it up, but it blurs it and it's amazing. So I'm gonna finish putting this on off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so next I like to go into into in with concealer and um i've tried a lot of concealers y'all and i really love this shiseido concealer it's become my holy grail it is the synchro skin self-refreshing concealer and i have it in the shade 101 fair um i wasn't the biggest fan of the foundation the original one um it did something really weird on my skin i don't even remember but this concealer is amazing um, it lasts all day on my under eyes. As, as you can see, they need some help. Um, <laughs> they, it doesn't crease. I set it with a little bit of powder and it doesn't crease. It's super radiant yet full coverage. I don't know how they do it, but it really, really is beautiful. And it's quickly become one of my holy grails. So I just take it a little bit. I've seen the concealer trend where People are taking it and putting like a dot in the inner corner and a dot in the outer corner. I tried it. Honestly, it's not enough for me and this concealer doesn't crease. So I just put a little triangle and blend it in and it works so beautifully. Look at that. It's beautiful. Love it. So next I like to go in and set. I always, always use my BK Beauty 102 brush. It's just perfect for setting your face with, um, you know, if you want like a heavier powder to add more coverage or a lighter powder, which brings me to my Holy Grail powder, y'all. It's the Shantikai water powder. I just got this one in, this limited edition packaging. Like seriously, it's to die for, but this damn powder, it's so amazing. I have it in the shade light medium. Um, you'll see, I'm just gonna put it on and it's gonna speak for itself. So I use this brush. Um, oh, look, oh, <laughs> obviously it's brand new. I haven't used it yet. I mean, oh, so beautiful. I hate to use it. You know what? This is the new packaging. I had to show the new packaging, but I'm gonna pull out my older one. <laughs> um, just so I don't ruin that beautiful pattern in the powder. I know it's ridiculous, 
but I'm glad that it's gonna be um, a permanent addition to their line. So I just go in, swirl my brush around, and watch this, y'all. It's beautiful. Just kind of pat it in and like, everything goes away. It's blurred, it's beautiful. It sets my foundation for the day. Blurs away all of the imperfection, all past sins, I don't know. <laughs> beautiful. I don't think I'll ever use another setting powder. It's a finishing powder, but I use it to set because I don't like <clears throat> like a heavy, a heavy setting powder. So this one's perfect. Perfection. So next to finish off the complexion, um, this is fairly new, but I literally haven't used anything else since I've gotten this to bronze and contour my face, which I didn't even really contour, but now I do. So it is the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette. I have it in the shade Light Gold, y'all. I mean, it's beautiful. So I use this Refer 04 brush um, to go in with the contour shade. Tap a little bit off. So I just take it and I kind of run it from like the top of my ear um, down towards the corner of my mouth and just, I know it's going to look ridiculous at first, but I just kind of draw a line. If my hair doesn't get in the way, I draw a line and then I just take it and blend it upward. So it's not so harsh. And then to bronze, I go in with my Sonia G smooth, smooth, smooth <laughs> buffer brush. Um, I get a little bit of the bronzer in the Wayne Goss palette. And I just go over where I contoured. And just, as the brush says, buff it in. So I do that on both of my cheeks. And then um, I take it up on my forehead just to kind of provide a little bit more dimension and to bronze up this pale face. Okay, so now that we have some color on our face, we're nice and bronzed. Um, I like to go in and do highlight and blush. Now, I don't always do highlight. I used to be like big on highlight. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a good highlight, but I haven't found myself, especially with mask wearing, um, reaching for that as much. So if I do, my favorite, favorite blush and highlighter is this Shantikai Rose Radiance Cheek, Cheek, and Highlight Duo. Uh, I mean, first off, or again, the packaging. Um, this is the inside. The highlight and blush is just so beautiful. It's so creamy. It is small, but I still find it pretty easy to get my brush in, and it's just the most beautiful, peachy, creamy, pink blush and beautiful gold highlight. Um, I just use this little Real Techniques brush for my highlight. Um, I just go in, tap it off, um, and I try to keep my highlight a little bit back on my face because I already have, you know, plump cheeks. So I keep it back here just a little and just buff it in when I do wear it. So after I do the highlight, I go in with my BK Beauty 104 brush, which is the perfect perfect brush for blush. So I pick up a little bit of the blush, tap it off, tap off the excess, and then I start back here as well with my blush. So I just kind of build it up back here. And then after I've done that, I pick up a little more, depending on the blush. I just like blush, even though I'm already rosy. Um, I do add it to the apples of my cheeks and just kind of blend it in under my eyes so that there's no harsh lines. And then I just kind of take a look at it and see, do I want to add more blush? Do I want to add more highlight? But I think it looks pretty. So before I finish my eye look, I always like to go in and do my brows. Honestly, I'm not that much 
of a brow person. Um, I do like to, you know, do a little something something to them. And Michelle Wong is amazing. If you're not watching her, just watch her. Um, she got me on to this Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. It is absolutely amazing. I have it in the shade Taupe. This is literally all I put in my brows and I don't ever feel like I need anything else. But I literally don't use anything else. This stuff is amazing. It's a little pricey. I mean, it's Tom Ford, but it's amazing. I do want to try the Kosas one. So if you have any thoughts on that one, I've seen some really good reviews. Um, let me know what you think about it. I think I am going to try it, but this stuff's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on before I finish my eye look. It's not crunchy, so I don't like a crunchy brow. It's not crunchy, but it holds your brows all day. So I brush it up and then I just kind of lay them down like that. And that's it. Obviously I do the other one, but that's it. Okay, so brows are done. So now I'm going to finish up underneath my eye to finish up my eye look. I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Goss number 19. I love this for going underneath my eye and kind of just blending out and buffing out like a transition color. So I'm gonna go in with this tree hopper shade again, just like I did first in my crease. And I am just going to run it underneath my eye. Now I'm going to take this Refer 26 brush. This is brand new to me. Y'all, this thing is fantastic for getting up underneath your eyes. And I would imagine, I haven't tried it yet, but I would imagine that for hooded eyes especially, it's good to get in there and do some of that little detail work, um, especially like on the outer corner. I need to try that. But I really, really have been loving this brush. I think it's one of their new ones and I love it. So I'm gonna go in with just a tiny, tiny bit of this Death Moth shade um, on the very, very outer corner of the bottom of my eye, just to kind of, it's a little too much, um, just to kind of tie everything in together. And there we go, it just kind of ties everything together. And last but not least for eyeshadow, I'm going to go back into this Marvel shade with my BK Beauty number 204. Um, not everybody does this, but I always like to just add a little, a little something, something kind of at the bottom inner corner. So I just go in with whatever shade I used on my lid and just kind of put it right here on the inner corner and buff it just to kind of highlight the inner corner of my eye and once again, tie everything together. And so for lashes, um, I do use the new lash lash growth serum. Um, my eyelashes are basically blonde, but I do find that this at least helps with the length and creates a little bit more volume. Um, my favorite lash curler is this one from Shiseido. I mean, I think everybody has tried this one and loves it. Um, and then my favorite mascara, y'all, is the Shantikai Faux Sils Longest Lap, I can't talk, Longest Lash Mascara. Um, it's just beautiful. It doesn't create like these fake looking lashes. It just looks very natural, um, very long and beautiful and voluminous without looking like you have like fake lashes, which I love, especially for an everyday look. So I'm not gonna put my mascara on on camera because that's a nightmare. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so mascara is on. See what I mean? It just creates the most beautiful, natural lash look. Nothing too dramatic, but still like just dramatic enough. Um, so last but definitely not least is my favorite part of makeup. Well, I love all makeup. Who are we kidding? <laughs> um, is lipstick. Um, so my favorite combo of late is the Wayne Goss liner in Natural Berry topped with his Cherry Blossom Gloss. These lip liners, I wasn't even a lip liner person 
until I discovered these and they are absolutely incredible. I have this and then I have the shade um, Vintage Pink, which is also beautiful. I just think that this combo creates the most natural, beautiful look for my skin tone. This liner is so creamy. Um, it lasts several hours. I was gonna say all day, but I mean, what really lasts all day? I wouldn't want it to, honestly. Um, but it's so creamy, it's so beautiful. And then topped with this gloss, I mean, it's just perfection. Okay, y'all, so that is the finished look. Like I said, I added the Wayne Goss Lip Pencil in Natural Berry, topped with his Cherry Blossom Gloss. Um, these are all my favorite products, y'all. Um, this is my first video, so I figured that I'd give y'all an idea of what to expect on this channel and the kind of products that I like. Um, so I hope that you can like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Kayla K. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!